Well, this might be the really best video I ever did because it's like the fourth try. And I wanted to share with you some things. We talked a little bit yesterday about the Gmail and uh, how you want to uh, make sure that uh, you, you can actually use the docs that are over here. And uh, just real briefly, I'll just tell you so that if you didn't catch yesterday's video, if you ever want to upload or create new, you simply, it's, it's actually something that is part of your system and you, you get to it through the drive. So the drive is here and anytime you want to either upload a file, which I taught Deborah to do yesterday, or you want to create a doc, which is like a Word document, a sheet which is like an Excel uh, worksheet and uh, pa slides which is like the PowerPoint uh, you don't actually have to have Office to actually um, have all of your files and what's cool about doing this is that your files are here anytime you want and you can go to them and you can get the information you can get into your things like for instance I have this worksheet here and this is all of my passwords and uh, I'm not going to open it because that's private information. But uh, needless to say, I can get to all of the the programs I'm part of, such as Power Lead System, which I have open, um, because I have it all here. And whenever I make a change to a, pa a, a a password or whatever, I put it in there. That keeps me updated, so I don't have to remember what they were. And what's nice about having it that way inside of here is that you can actually get access this anywhere on any computer, whether it's yours or uh, someone else's. And so uh, we're going to get back to the next step, actually. Once you've created something, I taught something to Deborah yesterday, and she made herself uh, a PDF. She spent a couple of days putting this together because this is one of her interests. She's uh, She's been involved with sprouting. She knows how to do it. She's a teacher of it. And she has a particular special interest group in her Facebook that she's connected with that she is sharing this uh, free giveaway with people. But, you know, most people, they think, okay, you just give them the PDF. Well, let's take this a step further. A lot of people are just sending off emails to people that they scraped your email to and then they're just sending it to you and that is the wrong way to go. The way you do want to go is what I taught Deborah yesterday and that is that you're going to create a capture page and then you can create some emails and you have a particular email, particular like in her case she has a thank you email that would go to them immediately after they subscribe which has this attachment this PDF and yesterday I showed that you can actually upload that in here through the file upload and she is has done that so now her uh, her uh, her PDF is uploaded into her own Gmail Drive and she is now she has a capture page and she has an email. Very, very simple system. You do not have to work really hard at making this work. And so she has a special interest and we, I taught her how to do this and I can teach you how to do this. And she simply will be sending them emails on a regular basis that will be teaching them about how to improve their health with sprouts and other healthy things that she is interested in. And that is the kind of group of people that she's interested in attracting into her business. Now that may not be the case with you. You may have a different interest. When you create something like what she did, and it's not hard to do if you already understand it, like she did with the sprouting, you choose something you have an interest in, and you choose something that you know something about, and then you can create a capture page around that particular interest and send emails that are going to correlate with that interest and then that group of people is going to be real happy to receive your emails because you made it co congruent with what they wanted to understand and know and so much of the time 
people are sending emails either they're sending emails to uh, this you know to a Gmail account or they're sending they're trying to use the Gmail account as an autoresponder and that's a big no-no you want to use a system such as power lead system now what's cool about power lead system versus a one major thing is that I have nearly 2,000 contacts. I'm not going to share how many contacts I have. I'm not going to share their names, but just take my word for it. I have almost 2,000 contacts inside of this system. And I am legally re able to send them emails whenever I want because they have subscribed to something that I sent out in the world and they decided they wanted to be connected and they can also unsubscribe at any time that they decide they don't want to be connected so that is a much better choice than to be um, in you know here where uh, somebody is spamming you sending you information that you don't want it when you didn't ask for uh, I'm seeing that a lot in the in the social medias, seeing it on Facebook. I'm seeing it in LinkedIn and Twitter, and nobody asks for it, so nobody's going to say yes, are they? So you don't want to send emails out from your personal email, whether it's a Yahoo or a Gmail or anything else. You, it's not legal to do that. You want to have a system set up that lets you do it and you do it by interest by uh, something that they are interested in and you give them a free giveaway we teach this and we have the information and you can learn more about that tonight if you get on uh, the webinar or the hangout that we're going to have it's on the bottom of this video and I invite you to be able to uh, watch that if you don't it's going to be recorded 24 7 and it's going to be there until the next Tuesday when we have another training of that sort we teach easy and simple and correct ways to advertise and to sell on the internet with whatever it is that you are sharing with other people and I hope this has been helpful. Stay tuned. I will do another one tomorrow.